Yeah, we knew he wasn't going to let me go to sleep, of course, didn't you? But, uh, yeah, getting the bolts of memory coming back. And, uh, yeah, it's, he's definitely uh, working on his fat Thor. Let me put it that way. How about that? But uh, get off the subject and give me a little bit of breathing space here. We're going to go cover another topic he wants done. He wants me to tell you all about my role models. I get to pick three. And I'm sure I've already told everybody, but I'm going to make it one official recording right now. Number one, Garth Brooks. I'll tell you what, this man could sing. Oh, man. When he came out with his album, I'll tell you what, there wasn't a song on that I did not like. And uh, I thought, wow, this guy is going to be a superstar forever. This is, like, awesome. I mean, the dance itself brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> and, and, oh, the beer drink. Oh, yeah. Love him. Love him. Any Red Knock would. Come on, man. <laughs> but that wasn't what made him my hero. See, down the road, expecting another album or more music and nothing happened. And come to find out, uh, he wasn't going to do anymore. He was going to focus on his family. He said that was more important. And if more people that struck pain it was cool with just living with that moment and moving on and living with their life and their family, they would find the peace that they have in their life like Garth Brooks does. God tells me he's actually a pretty happy man. He, uh, he's done exactly what his heart told him to do and fame wasn't what it was. He had enough of it. And I always thought that, man, I wish Elvis or some of the others could have learned or known, known that. As God tells me, they maybe destroyed him. But in all fairness, Garth, Elvis had carnal. Straight up greed some bit. Greedy, some bit. Drove Elvis right into the ground. But you were, you were true to your heart. So you're my number one pick. And no particular order, you three are all the same. Then there's Oprah. Okay. Let me tell you. I am the last person to do talk shows. I'm like, no, I, no. Talk show, shit. That's people sitting in a chair bitching. That, well, that's the last thing I want to sit and listen to. It's more bitching. There's enough bitching going on in the world. But I actually, uh, not really sure how. I'm pretty sure God sat me down and said, now listen to this woman. <laughs> and, uh, I never found a bad episode with her. I thought, man, this is a smart, smart woman. Damn, she is really hitting it on the head. At least the way I believed. It was like, wow. I loved her answers. It was like God was giving her answers. <laughs> Turns out he was a little bit. So just in case she wandered over. He, uh, he got a jet. He was your compass. And you know it. And I know you give glory to him every day. And he hears it. So, I just thought she was, uh, 
one of the smartest women I ever knew. You ever seen that song, Certain Women? Oh, yeah. Listen to that one. Because women are not stupid. Women are very smart. And should be respected. Because they are our equals. And then my third. Let me tell you about him. Morgan Freeman. See, him and I go back way back. I was a little sprout. Sitting in front of the TV. My mom would put it on Sesame Street. And then after Sesame Street came the electric company. And there was this black man that come up on. And I'll tell you what. He was the coolest man I had ever known in my life. I would go around and quote after him. Act like him. Slapping fives. Oh man. He was the shit. I had the most fun acting like him. <laughs> and, uh, he really was. Because, see, you know what really is, you know, kid shows. Another one was Barney's. My, my girls love Barney. They just went nuts. But those three shows, yeah, that's my three child shows that I really pick, but getting back to Mark and Freeman. It was here later in life that I seen the dignity in him. And I seen the wisdom in how he acted and the humor. See, anyone that has real wisdom can laugh. There is nothing worse than someone who is too smart to laugh. Or to make fun. Or to light. I mean, after all, I mean, he's portrayed the job of God. <laughs> but even more so, as I watched him in another series where he was searching for God. I could see it in him. And it just so happens that show, can't remember the name. I got a memory issue right now, so roll with me on it. I'm sure you all know it. Him and Jack Nicholson. And <laughs> they buddy up. And they, uh, They live like they were dying. And I'll tell you what, it is the funniest show. But it is another reason why Morgan Freeman and his dignity in humanity, whether it's the role he was playing or it's the way he carried himself. He just, he was a hero. Still is. All three of them are my heroes. Role models. People that uh, I look up to. And see, here's the secret to heroes. You can't choose to be one. You have to be chosen. That's the real secret. And it takes the time with people to see what you're about. To understand why you make the choices you do. And uh, 
nevertheless, I never missed another Oprah. If it, if it was on, I was <laughs> I tried to get to see it. <laughs> Did y'all see the one where she gave away all the cars? Oh my God, I'm telling you. It just, that woman. Uh, I honestly thought she should be president. I really did. <laughs> but God said, hell no. No, you are not taking my angel. Hell no, put her in that damn net. No, no, you are not doing that to my girl. <laughs> Actually, the really smart ones, they stay the hell away from politics. <laughs> Who in the hell wants to jump in that hornet's nest? So I ain't stupid. <laughs> oh, <coughs> I don't know if we're done or we're going to talk in the morning. Till then, may God's force be with y'all. <laughs> in my three picks, thank you, thank you for in my life.